Former Miami Dolphins coach Brian Flores is hired by the Pittsburgh Steelers as a defensive assistant and linebackers coach. What I have to say to that is, let's fucking go. You know we ain't tanking this year. And there's so much speculation as to why the Steelers made this hire. Is Flores the coach in waiting for whenever Tallman retires down the line? Could he be the defensive coordinator as soon as this year if Terrell Austin flops or maybe even next year? To me, I don't really think any of that matters that much. Why can't we focus on the here and now and just stay in the moment? Can't it just be the Steelers got an awesome coach in an area that they need? Simple as that. Because I think we can all agree for Flores, the spot that he's in right now with the Steelers, he's extremely overqualified for. Hell, I thought when Miami fired him that he was going to be able to get another head coaching spot within the snap of a finger. For him to win five of the last nine games in his first season with Miami, all while they were trying to tank and also have back-to-back -back winning seasons with Tua as their quarterback, I'd say that's pretty impressive. And obviously, since being released from Miami, Flores has sued the NFL for injustices in their hiring process. And with that making headlines, people were starting to wonder, though, would he ever work in the NFL again? but around that same time was still able to land some head coaching interviews like the one with New Orleans. Or maybe he was thinking about a defensive coordinator role. Now, I know that is a step back from head coach, which I still think he should have been, but ultimately not a bad gig to stay within NFL relevance. Not like it hasn't been done before. Former coach goes back to OCDC. All of a sudden next year, they're hired as a head coach. But for this season, he lands with the Steelers as defensive assistant and also linebackers coach. I just don't see any downside to this hire. For the defensive assistant part of it, you got to think Flores is part of the Belichick coaching tree, won multiple Super Bowls up there, started with safeties, linebackers, and eventually took over the defensive play calling. And his last game was in 2019, the Super Bowl, where they won 13-3 against the Rams. And then when we're talking about as the linebackers coach, I went from Man, we should really start considering trading Devin Bush, which I still kind of feel that way a little bit. But now I'm starting to think, man, could Flores turn Bush's career around and he could become the first round talent that we all expect him to be? I mean, coaching does matter. We could see what the offensive line has looked like with Munchak and then also without. At the end of the day, this is a great move. As I said earlier, we hired a great coach for positions that we kind of need some help in, whether we're talking linebackers or also the defense as a whole. So it only helps the Steelers, whether we're talking about just for this season or also long term. And people are also starting to wonder, not only will Brian Flores help with the Steelers' X's and O's, but will he be able to bring in some additional talent to the roster? For example, Deshaun Watson, because those two have been linked in the past to some trade rumors. But I do think that is a different conversation for a different day. Right, right. Yeah, I I know. I, right, right. Yeah. Deshaun Watson, if cleared, could be a trade possibility for the Steelers. But let me know what you guys think about the Brian Flores news being hired by the Steelers as a defensive assistant and also a linebackers coach. What does it mean for the team? What does it mean for kind of like the coaching staff? Do you see a potential role for him going forward as a defensive coordinator, predecessor, head coach, predecessor? Do you believe any of those type of rumors? But that is it for Big Deke News on a Monday. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Stay chillin'. Peace.